Panse, hello, my name is Kendra Jesse. I am a Cree and Ukrainian woman from Sucker Creek First Nation in Treaty 8 territory. And I am also a former student of High Praise School Division, so I'm really honored to be speaking to all of you here today and giving you a message on Orange Shirt Day or National Day of Truth and Reconciliation as the federal government has recently announced. And so I wanna just start by stating that reconciliation is for everyone. It's for indigenous people and both non-indigenous people because reconciliation is for everyone to be actively engaged in because the only way that we're going to move forward in a good way is if everyone is involved in reconciliation. It can't just be indigenous people trying to fight for their rights and spread awareness and spread that education. It has to be non-Indigenous people as well who are involved in reconciliation and moving forward in the future. And so we do that through learning. We do that through education. And, you know, we do that through days such as today as Orange Shirt Day or National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. We do that through days like this to learn because as Canadians, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous, we are all treaty people because the treaties are the agreements of how Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people were going to live here on this land together peacefully and happily. We made those agreements to live here and so it's important for non-Indigenous people to also hold up their end of the treaties and the agreements that we once made in order for you know Canada to be established and for us to all live here and thrive on this land today. And so I am a bit disappointed that the school division chose not to honor this holiday, but I challenge you, the students of High Praise School Division, to fight and to speak up and to have this day next year and for the future years and for future students. I challenge you to you know, speak up to your teachers, your parents, your principals, the school board, and let them know that you, you wanna have this day off. You wanna have this day to honor those lives that were lost in the residential schools. And that you wanna have this day to hold space for people to grieve for families and communities and individuals to grieve the losses and all the trauma and the pain and the hurt that has come from these schools and to have that day to just honor all the negative impacts of residential schools. And so I thank you all so much for listening to this message and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, hi, hi.